today is the last day of staying in Whistler. We are leaving. Too cold. <laughs> it's too cold. And we can't stay below zero because we have water in the van. Oh, yeah. And if it freezes, then all our water stuff gets destroyed and then maybe even leaks all over into the van. And also, we're going to install a heater, so it's not going to be a problem for a long time. But. Home Depot in America. Okay, what we got here? Mm, we have our Propex heater. Yes, we are installing the heaters. Air tube, and then the will be for the exhaust. Combustion inlet pipe. Do not reduce in length. Good to know. Okay. Instructions. The controller. Something. Mm, and then this is the actual heater. Claw packs. HS2000. So this is air intake, mm. exhaust. And then this is propane, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. And then this is. One is intake and one is exhaust, I guess. Oh, it's interesting, the intake is just a bunch of wiring inside. Oh, yeah. Mm, this is uh, exhaust, I guess. Wire. Yeah. So there's not actually that much stuff. So what's this one for? I guess we'll find out. Okay. Okay, so we want to take the seat off. Mm, so these bolts are really important. Yeah, don't lose it. Surprisingly, there are only four bolts to secure the seat. Mm, the last one? Not much, huh? No. I can't believe you're just sitting so roughly on this seat. Oh, those bolts are really strong, honey. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can disconnect the whole seat and we can just put it outside. Sure. Mm. We'll have to keep the seat belt on. Okay. It's not easy to take off. Yeah. The heater is going to go underneath the passenger seat. However, there is already a resident. So what's that yellow stuff over there? It's a jack. So we're going to have to move, move this somewhere else. After we kick him out, we open up the template which came with the heater. It's kind of tight fit, isn't it? Yeah. Here is the template. First of all, we are going to drill those two holes. Those are the holes for the combustion intake and exhaust. Nice. So we got this uh, hole saw kit, Tuck Life. 16 piece and like $20, $30. Like $25 Canadian. I think it's more for wood. Yeah. But we're gonna try and if it doesn't work, then we're gonna go to Home Depot and buy a proper one. Yeah, we are like right place to be. Making a bit of a hole. <laughs> but the noise is really bad. Mm. Nice. We made a big hole, honey. Yeah, I can see the ground. How's that the thing here? Still looks okay. Well. Maybe not. I don't think it was quite what it was before. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sweet. We have really strong magnets we used for the cabinet. Use this magnets to clean the metal bits. While we are waiting for the spray to dry, we start wiring. It doesn't fit anywhere else, really. Right side is to the thermostat and left side is to the power. We wanted to put the thermostat near the bed so we wouldn't have to get out from the bed to turn on the heater in the morning. Can you reach? However, the cable wasn't long enough. Yeah, yeah you want to put it right there? Yeah. So we decided to put the thermostat behind the dry bath sheet. In order to put the cable under the floor, we have to take out the floor edging. Let's track the cable. It starts underneath the passenger seat and go under the floorboard. 
come up from the corner to behind the wall panel. It's gonna be like here, right? Yeah. The thermostat is supposed to be between the waist and shoulder height. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's all we need. We just need to make a hole for the cable to go through. Another hole. Make it straight. Yeah. Done. Okay. We didn't expect this, but this part might be the one of the annoyest moment. We made the floor to fit to the van, and there isn't any space for the cable. We were two good carpenters. So, Tolazi needs a little bit of surgery. After we made enough space for the cable, put the edging back. Now is the time to make four small holes. Those two and those two these are to secure the heater so easy hole, hole number one hole number two hole number three this whole thing moves oh really yeah cheap one yeah yeah it's cheap one well, maybe the hole saw is too tough on that drill Maybe, I don't know. Touch it. Mm, you wanna touch it? Yes, it's not dry yet. We want the heater to be a little bit higher, so we made a leg for our heater. We cut copper pole 4 inch long and used long screw to fix. Your hair is on me, honey. Your hair is everywhere. Is that the problem? Yes. What do you mean? Yes. It's so dirty. It's not dirty. It just stinks. You farts a lot. <laughs> yeah, but my farts don't make a mess. It's making a mess in my head and in your nose, head? nose. In your nose? Yes. Okay. Where's the drill? Okay. You stupid. <laughs> Why do we back at this? Yeah, sometime. We didn't want the copper pole to scratch the floor, so we used the rubber piece we cut from here. Now our little heater has legs. Okay, so now we have to take it out again, but now we know where... Now we know where the warm air is coming from. So this is gonna sit like this. Right? Yeah. I'm ready. Ready to make one big hole. Whoa! For wood as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ready? Careful. Holy f is a lot. See, this one is losing the teeth. Piece. Oh no, I think that's just bad. The paint's not even gone there. That was just a shitty uh, saw. Okay, you can keep going then. So should we buy a proper hole saw? This is not going anywhere. After hours passed, it didn't make much progress, so Eric decided to go shopping. So what you got? A hole saw that cuts metal. Brand new, Home Depot. I hope this cuts well. Definitely sharper. Sharper. Yeah. <laughs> Too sharp almost. Yeah. Careful. It's working faster for sure. Should we wear earplugs? Yeah, it's my ears uh, making noise. Ringing? Ringing, yes. This time, we really needed to put the earplugs in. Earplugs! Who's hot? Hmm. 
It's hot. Mm. Maybe it's okay. But I don't feel like it's not really scraping much. Not cutting much? Mm. Mm. I almost want to use the jigsaw. But you can't get in there. After a few hours of struggling, our two drills died. Okay, so we had to change our strategy. Okay, one's done. Really? <laughs> 最終手段は? Saw blade. And it's already cutting through. Horrible. So good. Can you go around the corner? No, I don't know. I'm trying, but uh, yeah, it doesn't go much, huh? No much. It's getting there. Yeah, well, we're making way faster progress <laughs> with that. Yeah. yeah. The this. <laughs> yeah. Also, stupid. <laughs> Finally, this was ridiculous. Like yesterday we drove four hours or so. Yeah. And this morning like one hour and then battery died. And yeah. we used hacksaw and then maybe after 30 minutes. Yeah, hacksaw took 30 minutes and yeah. the drill was useless. And that's a, a metal hole cutter. This one, yeah. Absolutely useless. And this is a... Um, Milwaukee hold those. Milwaukee hold those. Show the truck. Actually, there's a truck, so maybe we might want to go talk to them. <laughs> that will be funny. <laughs> hey, your hole cutter sucks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we need to file the edges. Yeah. And then paint it. This is uh, intake. Oh, that's the intake. Mm. Mm. This one's exhaust. Mm. I hope. Okay, now they got some te testicle. Testicle? Tentacle. Tentacles. <laughs> testicle. <laughs> All right, push them through, honey. You have to help. Me. This way. One is for the exhaust. And one is for the intake. That air. Yeah. Install the gas as well. It's going down here and coming up. And there's the gas coming from. And here, it's a little bit too close, so we had to cut the, this part down there. But uh, it looks good. Yeah, now we, we have like a power here. And we're gonna close here. And it's almost good to go. Almost. I think, uh, yeah, it took time to hold here. Make that a hole. hole was probably the hole. worst part of the whole thing. Yeah. And then we just use a little hand saw. Oh, it cuts so easy now. How's it go? It's working. Is it warm? Yeah, it's actually warm air is coming out. Actually, oh, it's getting yeah. really hot now. Oh, yeah. It's, in the beginning, it was cold, so like we're a little bit worried about it, but it's getting it's really hot, hot. yeah. Mm, nice. And then we have the controls on the wall. Yeah. So we have it set full blast. And really high. And this looks like a water, but it's supposed to be fire, probably. Well, yes. For paint fire is blue, it's burning properly. Oh, okay. So that's that's bonding right now, yes. It's called a blown heater. So this is exhaust, hot exhaust from the, the propane is burning. So this has like a lot of water in it, carbon monoxide that you don't really want to breathe. And then this is the intake. You can feel air is coming in. Yeah. Yeah, it's stinky. Finally. Finally, it took two days, whole day. Oh, it's really warm now. Now, now we don't get the cold night. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Yes. Nice, we got the shower. Setting up the shower. 
important. Yeah. How's it going down there? It's getting cool. <laughs>